people have had that, that, that real moment of clarity where they've said, do I have the right knowledge and skill set for the future, particularly if I've got decades ahead of me? And that, that's really coming to play right now. So if I'm, if I'm sitting there and, I, and I'm looking ahead over the next 10 or 20 years, what's your sense of wh- how should I be thinking about my, my career as a leader at this moment in time? At the moment, I think, if you, if you look across the, the decision-making tables, whether that be in the executive team or whether it be a board of directors, there is often a lot of great legacy, a lot of great experience, but often they are individuals sort of operating or cooperating together and not necessarily collaborating. I think it's really important for people to understand the difference between those two operating um, modes. And so if I use the analogy, if if I have a what we call a potluck dinner, I assume you can it translates a shared dinner yeah. with friends and you tell everybody to bring a dish to share, people will bring the dish that they most love because they know that people love it, they know it really well. So they do the thing they know the best. They bring it along, everybody puts that food on the table and you share it. But there's been no learning. There's been no ability to to do things together. In collaboration, you would say everybody brings some food ingredients along, we'll put them on the table, we'll see what we have, and we'll find some recipes that none of us know, but we'll find things that we can create and make. And then we will make the food together. We will have a huge learning journey on the, on the, in, the, in the process. And in the end, we get to, to benefit from the shared meal. And so one of the things that we really focus on when we look at individuals is saying, are you collaborating? Or, or are you operating as though the information that you have is good enough to get, keep you at the, at the decision-making table? How do we get people mixing and mingling and learning amongst people who are not like them? So they're not operating in the same bubble and they're not overly indexed by the same constant conversations. Because then you get to the point where you really do believe your own hype or your your own story to the point where no one is challenging because there is the collective thinking. And so part of it is learning new skills and part of it's understanding how to bring divergent skills and thoughts together into one collective uh, process.